Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, Anne Hathaway. She has filmed in this city. San Francisco. On the plane to San Francisco, I was so excited about my new life here. Oh yeah, San Francisco, here I am. First of all, I gotta take a cab. Is Springfield in San Francisco? I didn't know that. Awesome. The cabs are waiting for me. Well, how should I ask the driver? Can I? Can you? Uh, does anyone speak Korean? I came to the United States with my big dream, which is making movies in the land of Hollywood. But everything had been distorted from the beginning. I went to a restaurant to appease my hunger, but they didn't just give me food, they asked me so many things. I tried to have a conversation with the American as a first step to be a cosmopolitan, but they didn't understand me and spoke Greek. Actually, it was nothing. In the class, I thought my instructor's former job was a rapper, like this. Color. 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 Color wheel of the color spectrum from skin tone. Yeah, I guess this fellow is talking about color. The reading assignment was frustrating in itself. Every single letter was mixed up and they laughed at me like I was a super fool. When I was feeling completely hopeless about English, I was told that there was an English curriculum at the school called EAP. EAP, English for Art Purposes classes, or English for Art program, uh, where our ESL classes are catered towards art, because after all, this is an art school. Basically, the goal of the English for Art program is to help students understand and succeed in their art and design classes at the school. Uh, we don't care if students here speak perfect English. That's not the goal. Um, so a lot of our EAP classes focus on foundations, art terminology, speaking during critiques, expressing an opinion, listening to other people's opinions, defending your opinion, and some really basic, basic writing before you go in the liberal arts department. So some of the foundation language skills for foundations art classes and for the liberal arts classes. However, isn't it weird to teach English in English? 영어를 배우기 위해서 영어로만 한다는 게 처음에는 진짜 어떻게 하나 막 이랬었거든요. 계속 이게 훈련이 되는 것 같아요. 자연스럽게 받아들여지는 것 같아요. 그리고 그분들이 또 쉽게 쉽게 표현을 해주려고 하고. That's better because they improve your listening and you know how can you really communicate with the teacher. It's really only a problem when you're teaching absolute beginner. I think what has worked for me is um, using lots and lots of examples. Um, I also find that gesture is very helpful. You have to simplify your language. The curriculum in the EAP classes are all art-based, so we use a lot of visuals that they can see and then talk about. But it's not as hard as you would think. But there's a problem with it. Because we study, it's a different, different thing from EAP and my, my major. It's different. It's not about my major stuff. So I think it's different. The classes were originally based around the foundation courses. So that's where a lot of the vocabulary came from uh, and the basic language that students had to know it would kind of be impossible to incorporate all these different majors into one class. And if they're taking other things other than foundation, we have an ESL support teacher in the major class. ESL support teacher? What do they do? We support them in the major classes. And that's where it's very specific as far as the concepts, the language skills, and the terminology they need to, to succeed in that particular class. No other school was doing this to pay faculty to go and work with students in regular university classes. If it's a lecture class, I just take copious notes. I take tons of notes and um, go over the notes with the students. I would occasionally interrupt the instructor to see if there's questions that my students might not be understanding. And then I have a study group. In study groups, sometimes I will review the information 
definitely go over the vocabulary, help prepare for quizzes. Uh, usually if it's a lecture, I check that they've understood the main points of the lecture. I simply work on making sure that they understand the assignments and understand whatever critique that they individually received. I usually be in a study group there because it's helpful. Uh, the teacher will help us to organize the, the homework for this week. By the way, they majored in English, so isn't it difficult to understand esoteric, the world of art? They still try hard to make the to do the notes and tell us how to do what's the next step and what's the assignments. Yeah. And so you have to listen carefully to what the teacher wants and expects so that you can relay that to the student. But you can't go in there and be like, oh, this is how you do it. You can't help them with how to do it. You can just give them the words that the, that the teacher said. Um, but all I could do in that situation was just help them with their individual feedback, make sure they understood the individual feedback. They try to learn same same as student. Like we all learn from beginning, we learn together. 어떤 선생님들은 수업에 아예 학생처럼 껴가지고 막 커멘트도 하고 막 다른 선생님들은 영어 전공을 했지만 그래도 취미가 사진이라던가. Some of the teachers come here with an art background. A lot of the teachers tend to gravitate towards their favorite major. Each department here is like a different world. I mean, it's really like a different school. So we really um, have to look at each area to make that decision. And for example, in the computer classes, what we generally do is, is choose somebody who has a certain amount of computer knowledge. And then we train them to work with ESL students. Instructors, who are other customers of ESL support, what do they think about it? I think, it, I think it's very reassuring to the ESL students to have that presence in the classroom. And also, I know that if I have not been clear, then the ESL teacher will pick up on that and we will talk. So I find it very helpful. The ESL support staff is amazing because a lot of times they can catch miscommunication that I don't know the students have. And if they catch that, the student doesn't miss anything. ESL support actually bridges that translation between me and the student. Basically, EAP is for the students who have never come to the U.S. before. What is also difficult for them beside the language barrier? And uh, what's culture different from here with China? If you say, what is American culture? That's, that's a huge, huge topic. It's so big because this is such a melting pot of different cultures. But sometimes when I'll support advertising classes and I have international students, I think, oh, this is so hard because so much of what is in advertising is cultural. I try to bring up things as they arrive, uh, as they arise. Uh, for example, if we're a holiday is coming up, um, we'll talk about it. So we try to, you know, do about three field trips semester to get students out and to get to know San Francisco a bit. So I think it's really important to get students out all over San Francisco, um, you know, to become part of the culture too, to get over the cultural differences. There are tons of international students attending AAU. They came to the U.S. with the American dream. It's easier to get a job in Taiwan if you used to study in USA. 한국에서 베프스를 공부한다는 건 거의 수박 더 달기 수밖에 안 됐어요. 대부분 여기 와서 일을 하고 싶어 하는 사람들이 여권만 되면 더 있고 싶다. 일을 더 오래 하고 싶고 여기서 잘 일을 잡으면 더 오래 지내겠다는 생각을 이제 들고 있어요. What do the Americans think about the international students? I'm completely impressed by what they do um, and how they pull it off. So students that really get it and that are inspired from the curriculum at the Academy of Art they inspire me because I can't imagine that. I can't imagine going to South Korea and doing a master's degree. It would overwhelm me, but yet you guys are doing it. Well, I think they are, generally international students are more 
hardworking and conscientious. Yeah, I do think that. I mean, I'm pretty amazed by you guys that I cannot imagine tomorrow getting on a plane and going to Korea and trying to study art in Korean. I mean, it'd be impossible for me. The land of opportunity, America. The school gave me an opportunity to follow my dream. One of the mission of the school is open admissions. Everybody has a chance to come here. We are not elitist. We don't decide who can come here or not ahead of time. Everybody has a chance to come here, but not everybody's going to make it. And you have to work really, really hard once you get here. We don't care if students speak perfect English. In some majors, it's more important than others. What we care about is that they can reach their dream. You have to really work, but if you work, we'll help you. It's a matter of reaching out. From now on, it's all up to me. Therefore, I really appreciate everybody who offered me this big chance. ESL 선생님들, 안녕하세요. 그동안 저희들 위해서 소개해 주신 거참 감사합니다. Mm, I would like to say to my teacher, I really think thanks a lot. They have patience to teach me uh, over again, again, and again. Yeah.